this is a review on LumaPower D Mini EX. Um, basically, this is one of the flashlights that LumaPower made that uses the Cree MCE emitter. Uh, it's supposed to output over 400 lumens on the max output. It has three different modes. Uh, high or what they call sunburst which is 100%, medium which is 50% and low which is 10%. It has a uh, forward clicky so you have momentary on. Um, you're supposed to use it with the D65 power tube which is an 18650 size battery tube but they also include a 123A size battery tube view to mainly use as backup. Um, because this light was made to run on 3.7 volts, um, it, regular primary 123A cells don't can't really run it um, because the driver is made to efficiently run at 3.7 volts, and m most primaries are rated at 3 volts. Uh, you can, it will run, but I think output is only around 120 lumens instead of 400 lumens. Um, you can use rechargeable 123As and it will run with the sunburst tie at 400 lumens but the runtime is greatly decreased like and also the light overall just looks weird with um, just one cell I mean it has such a big head and reflector because it uses the MCE that it's already weird enough as it is uh, but I mean it's pretty easy to swap out you see like the emitter is actually on a pill so you can just unscrew this and you have to be careful because underneath the pill is a spring to make contact with the positive end of the 18650 and you want to make sure you don't lose that uh, but basically you would just screw it onto the 123A body like so put in your battery screw on your tail cap and then screw on your head and you can see it's pretty you know it's not very proportioned like you have a very short body and a very big head but you know it works uh, if you really if you don't really like using 18650s or you run out of charged 18650s at least you're not left in the dark like you can still always just use 123As um, but Ever since I got 18650s, that's mainly what I've been using the light with, and you know it's been great. Like, I think runtime is approximately 90 minutes on high with a charged 18650. Um, with a 123A, the runtime's only around 20 minutes. Um, because of how much light it outputs, the runtime isn't flat line regulation. Uh, there is some drop off to it, but it's not terrible. I mean, you don't really notice it until it gets pretty low. But yeah, like, I got this as a gift from my friend for, I think, Christmas, and, you know, I was talking about how I wanted to get a light mainly just for throw, and he got me this, uh, and it's been great. Like, because it does use the MCE emitter, it's not super throwy. Like, it throws light a far distance because it just puts out so much of li like so much light but I mean with this reflector it's orange peel textured and you know it's big and this light puts out an amazing amount of flood like it just lights up a whole area you know it has a good hot spot but the spill alone also has plenty of light to it uh, I, I kinda wish that it was like the original D mini where the head was smaller um, but I think if you get any of the lights or any of the heads that fit the D65 body, you could probably drill out the reflector and you know fit it over. But you know, I haven't tried that out yet. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get a smooth reflector if you want it more throw. I mean, with this light, you know, you can actually unscrew the top lens off, and then you can actually pull out the reflector which, you know, it's pretty good, you know, if it gets damaged or anything, you could probably buy spare parts from Luma Power. But yeah, one thing about this light is that because it uses that pill on the battery tube, you can actually just take off the head, and when you turn on this light like this, it's just like a pure floodlight. 
and you know it's actually it's pretty good uh, although you have to be careful about dropping it because you don't want to damage this emitter obviously uh, you could probably create some sort of just lens to cover it and it'll just be a great floodlight but with the reflector you know, obviously get that you know bright super bright hot spot um, yeah it also has a nice feature I like is that it also has um, these glow-in-the-dark tail caps and there's actually a, a glow-in-the-dark o-ring there um, it's not like it's not particularly useful the glow-in-the-dark o-ring but I guess it's kind of cool uh, with the glow-in-the-dark tail cap you know you can actually set it down and it lasts pretty long like several hours and you can still see a faint glow if it's completely dark and it should help you find your light but you know you can get this light for I think around eighty dollars online and it's a pretty good deal like if you need a flashlight like this I mean Luma Power makes several lights that are pretty interesting and I like although I can't really afford to buy them all and this light you know it's not something I would have bought for myself but as a gift it was great because you know I love it and I wouldn't have bought it for myself but since my friend got it for me then I don't mind using it and you know I do carry it sometimes the big head does make it a little weird to carry but you know if you put it on a belt holster it's not too bad it's a little uncomfortable in your pocket although you could put it so that the head sticks out um, since it uses 18650s it's it's one of the few lights I have that use 18650s so it was kind of annoying to have to buy the batteries and the charger for it but I'm actually looking into getting more lights that use that battery because I think that 18650s are a great power source they're low in voltage like they're around the same size as two 123A stacked together but you don't have like the 6 volts so it, it allows extended power for lights that use single cells um, but yeah overall you know, I like this light uh, I definitely think that if you want a light with a lot of spill and a lot a lot of like bright spill that's useful spill and you know you want something with good throw just because this light outputs so much that it does throw quite far then I think this light would be worth getting uh, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching.